Hey everybody, it's Dalton. Um, today is Sunday, March 28th. Uh, I was out here the day before yesterday, did pretty good. I did pretty good today too. I, I caught a handful of bass, nothing real big, but uh, definitely, definitely they're biting. I uh, talked to a couple other guys. Uh, they hadn't got a bite yet, but uh, they're definitely biting out here. Um, General water temperature has been around 55. It's been kind of holding 54, 55. So water temperature's uh, coming up just a little bit and kind of staying consistent there. Water clarity's fine. Um, I hope we get some rain. The lake is low. I know that because if you go down to the uh, dam in, there's an island there that has a lot of reeds on it. I'm, I'm sure you've seen it. And generally those reeds are in the water. So I don't know the percentage here, but the lake's pretty low. Uh, give me just a second, I'll be right back, I gotta grab my cell phone. So, let me see if I can pull this up. There we go. Okay, a friend of mine, uh, Rick, I can give you kind of a little bit of a Nascimento update. He was out there fishing Friday, and uh, he was catching some fish in around 10 feet of water, uh, catching them on spinner baits. Um, uh, looks like maybe some plastics, plastic worms. Uh, some pretty nice fish there. So he's saying around 10 to 15 foot of water, he's catching them out there at Nasi. The last two tournaments out there, I kind of, uh, excuse me, it's pretty bright out here. The last two tournaments, I, I looked at the weights. I think one of them uh, a week ago yesterday was BBT. There was about 11 pound bag that won. And then uh, ABA went out there on, the next day on Sunday and it was about a 10 pound bag that won. There was a five pound spot of bass caught. So, you know, they, the, the bite's picking up out there a little bit, but it's not the Nasimiano we're used to. Now, as far as out here, uh, the way I caught my fish today is it, one of the things that worked for me today was to not stay in one place too long. Uh, I kind of got about a 10 to 12 minute rule. If I haven't got a bite in 10 to 12 minutes, maybe 15, even if I see them on the graph, I'm gonna move because I'm trying to find, you know, bass that are actively feeding. Uh, I got bit right off the bat this morning, started catching some, and then it was probably two, two and a half hours before I even got another bite, and then I started catching again. So right off the bat this morning, across from the uh, second launch, the one that's not at the marina, uh, right across there, there's a point, a lot of guys come out there and crank it, um, I caught some there today and there were two baits I caught them on. Uh, this is a shaky head right here. It's, uh, it's dirty. It's made by owner. It's a 3 8 ounce. I use a pretty heavy one because I want to maintain bottom contact. And I've got a, a zoom trick worm on there and throwing it on 15 pound test fluorocarbon. And the color of the worm is green pumpkin candy, I believe. It's got all kinds of nice colors in it. And I was catching them on that this morning. fat guy first cast on a shaky head the other bait I was catching them on in the same place I was catching them all really in about five to six uh, feet of water as far as in that area I was fishing this is a big bite bait jerk minnow I like this jerk minnow because it's heavier and I can throw it weightless I can throw it on a bait caster use heavier line and I like these um, owner beast hooks. This is a four-aught. And basically, you know, this thing is, is pretty easy to rig. There we go. That big ol' yeah. About the same size as the other one. A little fat guy. Got him on a soft jerk bait. He's kind of twitching it around. And that big old owner beast hook pegged him good. 
So they were biting on this this morning. I was just kind of twitching it along. And that's how I rig it right there. I just screw it on that beast hook. Uh, there's my hook right there and I just twitch it along. Uh, it worked well this morning. And then uh, as it got a little warmer out here, I, I kind of slowed things down a little bit. And I know, I know if I get this bait anywhere around a bass out here, they're not gonna be able to help it. This is a little tiny, about an eighth ounce little football jig. Okay, I bought this, I believe at Turner Outdoors. This is a Z-Man Craw. And uh, it's got all the stretchy Z-Man. I know some of the bass were, were, hitting, were hitting that, but uh, this worked out today as well. Got me one here. Nice bass on a little finesse jig. So between the, the shaky head, the jerk minnow, and this little, uh, little eighth ounce football jig, I was able to get some bites today and catch a handful of fish. Uh, I think things are really going to continue to improve out here. I plan on coming back out here. Look, I wanna get back out to Nasi, but it is so hard right now to not come to this lake. There's, there's big fish that have been caught out, caught out here over the past weeks, and I would love to get me a big one. I'm gonna try really hard, so I'm just gonna keep coming out here. Um, I wanna thank Rick for um, giving that Nasi report. Uh, if anybody else wants to get involved in this, uh, let me know. One of the things that I'm not able to get is a Lake Lopez report unless I go out there. So if you have a report that you'd like to share with me, um, somehow I either get you my cell phone number or you can comment on my YouTube channel. I'm also on Facebook uh, under Dalton Ray Wilkerson. You can message me there. I'll get you my number and if you would like to be a part of this and maybe you fish Lopez and you don't mind sharing some ideas, uh, feel free to do so. I really appreciate it everybody. I'm going to head on home a little early today. I fished about four hours, caught some fish, did good. There's a lot of people out here fishing right now. So uh, people are knowing that they know the bass are biting. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'll talk to you next time.